decided uh, to bring him in, put him on the set. Let's do a little sit-down, uncommon for us, but this is a unique cause. A little sit-down interview with our man, Steve the Virgin. We never asked a girl out. Never asked a girl out. I'm assuming you spent a lot of time on the computer. Correct. And a lot of time looking through magazines. Mostly the internet. So most of the internet. Right. So I really didn't cost. Right. <laughs> SublimeDirector.com, but on that one? <laughs> no. That's good. No. I mean, I've never been there. But, you know. No, I never came anywhere close to having sexual intercourse. As a girl, I never had any interest in you. Because you don't seem like a, you know, you're a, you're a bad looking guy. No, I'm not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but do you have any, I mean, I want to know, before we get in, I'd like to know everything that I can know. Do you have any hidden, like, problems in your closet? No. Like, you once stalked the girl, or you, you know, what's the deal? You have a huge temper and somebody feels that you're going to murder them. <laughs> what's your deal? No, I basically just didn't have the opportunity and just didn't go out there to pursue it. I was doing other things of interest. And and after a while, as I get older, I just got a, a thrill out of just being a virgin and just being able to tell other people that I'm a virgin. Just, is it a religious reason? Is it a religious reason? Because that would be wonderful. Well, I went to a Catholic school, so obviously right. that has an, a little bit of an, well, more, most of an impact, too. Are you saving yourself for the perfect woman? Uh, well, you should be able to answer that easily and say, absolutely not, because I want to do it. <laughs> well, basically, I really don't know. I really, I just never had sex before, so I really, really have not that interest to really see myself, no. You must have an image of what you think it's like. Well, I ask those questions when I email different yeah. porn stars, yeah. and I even got a chance to chat with Ron Jeremy and Randy Spears on K6 Radio, and I was able to ask them a little bit about it. Well, they've done it a few times. Yeah, yeah. they have. Ron Jeremy especially. Right, and they were so amazed, and they couldn't really believe that I was a virgin. And Vicky, one of the porn stars that emailed me, uh, Vicky Vett, she also is unbelievable for her. And Ron Jeremy said that if she wanted to deflower me, Basically, it would, I would have to pay her. <laughs> so as we're going along with um, our little chat, uh, I'm learning some things, and uh, I am quite amazed. It does seem that he is emailing these, these ladies a lot, every single day, for like a long time. And then he kind of drops the bomb on us, and I just had no idea. He doesn't seem to want like some girl down the street. He only wants a porn star and then maybe a couple of others. I would do any porn star, right? Does she have to be the image that you're looking for? Like really, yeah. really hot. What if she was enormous? Like she was known as fat, but not a PH uh, fat um, porn star. Well, I basically wrote to Howard Stewart here saying that I would, with any porn any star. Any porn star. Bridget the Midget. Bridget the Midget, I saw her. I emailed her, too. She's tiny. She's yeah. Tiny. <laughs> I emailed her. She yeah. emailed me back. I emailed them all. Every Howard Stern show porn star, I knew to tell them. Okay. And I tell them I'm a virgin. So they know you. They all know me. Yeah. Um, but just a good, old-fashioned girl from central New York, no interest whatsoever. No, I wouldn't. I would never want to do a porn star. I really don't know. Now, if you told me, hey, you got a shot at a Playboy model, different story. Um, but a porn star, I don't know if you know, it's all they do is they do it. I mean, over and over and over and over and over. Take 20 again. I just don't know that, uh, you know, there's been way too much friction there for me. Well, let's just say there's probably not any friction left. Yeah. But I don't want to get down that road. Um, I just don't think I'd ever want to do a porn star. But that's not all. Stephen has two other ladies he would be willing to be deflowered by. Uh, Katie McConey. She is a... Back in 2003, I emailed her. She's a Riverdance singer, the lead singer for Riverdance. Okay. Broadway. Right in Broadway. And I emailed her, and she
and she's been my AOL messenger buddy friend since July of 2003. I see her every day online. I email her all the time. Yeah, yeah. And how did you uh, say, hey, I'm a virgin and I'd love to have sex with you? <laughs> well, I, told, I basically told her I was a virgin and she knows that now. And okay. she really didn't reply on that. She just said I'm married and I really, really shouldn't be emailing you what you're telling me. Right. So she basically like scolded me a little bit oh, since 2003 the things that I was saying. Yeah. And then she gave in a little bit because I emailed her father in Ireland and I asked her if I could be a friend. So if it was her, I would. And another woman, her name is Annie Buckley. She's the lead singer for Lord of the Dance. Katie McCormick and was it Ali North? Situation. That is, man, I gotta tell you, if you've now narrowed it down to porn stars and two Irish folk dance dancers. And Enya. And Enya, okay. Oh. Alright, let me get it all straight here. He's narrowed it down to the female that he is going to be with must be a porn star. The two girls from River Dance. Inya, or maybe, is it Inya, Enya, <laughs> whatever, or maybe an Irish folk song dancer. That ain't normal. Then I told the two that I'm going down to Manhattan because of your music to meet Moya Brennan. You know who Enya is? Uh, yeah. Moya Brennan, I met her personally backstage, wow. and I told her I was a virgin. So during the, uh, the whole interview thing, we asked, oh, could we come to your house? We'd like to see what's happening over at your pad. And he lives with, uh, with his mom and dad. We were shocked. As we're walking through here, um, check out the floor. And he warned us. He did tell us it's going to be messy. The floor is just, look at it. And the filing cabinets, don't know what's there. There are videos down in the basement. All over the floor. Everywhere. It is just out of control. I don't know how he could find his computer to email. So our goal right now is, um, what can we do for this guy? Um, it went way beyond what our wildest dreams. What can we do for this guy? So I think the goal is that we're going to, um, we've made contact with the Howard Stern Show. I have a couple of possibilities there. And if Stern will have him, because that's all that's going to work for him, though. Because if it's, you know, the, the, the Ted and Amy show decides they want to do something with it, <laughs> he wouldn't be interested in that. So I think that um, we're going to see what we can do for him. I think it's our duty, our responsibility to try to help him.